Okay, good morning YouTube. Today is May the 31st of uh, 2022. Just wanted to do a quick tech tip for your Yamaha YXE. Um, I'm sharing a lot of these secrets, so hopefully some of this helps you guys put these things together. Um, I have a set of throttle bodies here off of a 2017 YXE 1000RSS that I'm working on. Um, this is what I consider to be high boost prep. So any turbo car really, I would say over like 10 pounds of boost. This is a good uh, good little tech tip here. Um, take the throttle bodies off and uh, spend a little bit of time getting all these connections banded. Um, so like all these vacuum lines, you got this circuit here, goes to all three. This is your map signal, and in this case, I got a line coming off that I've added um, because my map sensor is mounted externally. And then you have this single map sensor over here that goes to cylinder one. This is actually for your crank position. Um, so this always gets retained. This second one in, uh, more towards the middle, is the factory map sensor. So a lot of times this doesn't get used. I do leave it on here, though, so I have somewhere for that plug to live. Um, that's why there's no hose there, and that's why we've gone to that external line. Now, to do these bands, you know, this is the, the most work is getting these throttles off. Um, unplug all the wires, obviously, take the fuel rail and injectors out of the way. And then you got to get the throttle cable out of there. Um, easiest way to do that that I've found is that you have a panel off behind the passenger seat and then cut all the cable ties holding the throttle on the table so that you can pull it away from the engine, you know, about 10 inches or so, then it's kind of easy to get to that thing. You gotta get that little piece out of there um, that's on the cable end, so. Take some stuff apart prior to trying to take this out. It makes it a little bit easier. Once you have it off and on the bench, um, I just do each line one by one. I use this kit, you know, I buy these on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks for the metric kit. Uh, I don't know if you can see what that is. It gives you a part number. It comes with a bunch of these one-time use stainless bands and it comes with a set of uh, crimp pliers. These things, you know, you slip it over the tube and then you're gonna crimp this end together and that's gonna be a hose clamp. Um, I like that because it's we're small. So you can get them in on these double connections that are really close together. Um, and it gives you all the sizes you need for everything. Like, you know, the important one is this idle air hose, this big guy, he likes to pop off. And then all this little stuff is controlling your map signal in various ways. So it's very important that that stays on uh, to keep the car from, you know, having some major issue. Um, I will do the return port and then that hose back to the air box on the idle control circuit as well, once it gets back in the car. So anyway, um, just figured I'd share that. This is a really cheap and easy way to do this. And, you know, we've been doing this on cars that are 35 pounds of boost or so and haven't been having any issues. Um, you will learn when you turbo one of these for the first time that these hoses, especially this big one, like to come off. And that causes, a, you know, basically a dead cylinder. So <laughs> uh, nice to not have that. So hopefully this prevents some problems for somebody nice to do this while you're doing your turbo install or you got the whole car apart you can get to all this real easy all these lines are very difficult to get to um, once it's assembled and you you know have your body working everything else back on so um, anyway just figured i'd share thanks guys talk to you soon bye